Hi friend, this is Sanjay Kumar, creator of Selector Sub and Crowpath. If you are writing automation with Selenium and Ruby, then this video is going to save a huge amount of time. Okay, so let me quickly show you how you can do the same task which you are doing in one minute just in two seconds. You see here, let's say you are writing an automation script here. And this is how your test case looks like in Ruby okay so if you have to write today like just a one single steps how you will do it like you will do typing this command driver or you just like copying from here one by one and paste it here and then this x path let's say here on this page you have to write in test case for on test project website for the sign up flow here and you have to enter some value over here so how you will do it like you will do command f or if id is there you will copy this value right come back here and paste this and replace this x path with id like this and if id will not be there you will be writing some x path or something isn't it and then again the same thing driver dot find element and if something some value is there like css select to let's say is there a class is there then that way you will be typing and depends on like what kind of uh, framework naming convention you have so this you will have to do it every time can we do it just in single click yes we can do this let me show you how so if you have already installed selector sub that's great if you haven't installed it's absolutely free available for all the browsers so whichever browser you want to use you can just click on that particular browser here at selectorsub.com and it will take you to the uh, respective browser store click on add to chrome uh, i have already added so it is showing remove from chrome so if you haven't added you will see the add to chrome button here click on that and you would be able to install after adding that just refresh the page or restart your browser once only and then uh, open dev tools here in the dev tools you will see that on the right side of dom you will see a couple of tabs are there selectors will be the last tab here if you're not able to see that just expand this you will see that last tab or else just click on these two arrow icons it will be here perfect so we got the selectors up here now you see that you can quickly see the occurrences of the selector particular selector element inspected for the inspected element you got all the details here like okay so these are the selectors possible and their occurrences so yes we got to know that id is there we can click on it copy this id and paste it in our script right but here the challenge is that if uh, <coughs> id is like you can paste it here okay this way but the problem with this that is still we have to type this command at driver dot find by right and then type whole thing or copy paste can we get the complete command from here itself yes we can get it click on this set driver command to append and here what you have to do wherever like this you have this command and wherever you have written the x path replace that x path with x path value in your command and press enter now you see you have all possible selectors along with their particular uh, means relative co command so you now you see that id1 you got the id1 click on it come here and you can paste this no need to type anything complete command you got it inspect other element <coughs> if id is there yes you can copy this so simple it is if let's say you are inspecting some element which doesn't have id or something you want the x path or uh, css selector take this one and this is how you can quickly build your script you can quickly write your script here anything you want and if you want like if id anything is available that you can take or else like you can just click here and there you go so so simple it is so quick quick you need not to waste any more time so this is really helpful and i hope it will save a huge amount of time for you so yeah and if you have anything like any comments or any suggestion any feedback feel free to reach out to me anytime you can connect with me over here slack and do check out for anything check out these footer links 
and uh, there are like lot of feature this is just one aspect i have shown you uh, uh, from selectors up here you can just uh, start typing you can build your own xpath and a quick update i'm not working on select uh, crow path anymore i'm working full time on selectors hub and selectors hub is the new reality new selector tool new xpath tool and on crow path you will not get any update or uh, support from my side i will start working on that please upgrade to selectors hub and check out these amazing features thank you thank you so much and please share it with the community so that others can get to know about this amazing innovation and they can save their own time thank you and this uh, one more thing sorry uh, this uh, <coughs> command is like you it could be anything this is not just like one command it could be anything for your uh, project like this you might have uh, written some wrapper so it could be anything this command could be anything and it will be always saved in the local you need not to say uh, set this command again and again next time when you will open selector sir it will open with your view with your setting and if you want to turn off you turn off again you want to turn on click on this so so simple it is not not required again and again those settings okay hope this is helpful to you and it will save your time thank you